looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Paolo the Eraser. Costa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of. 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Hazard Borshevaga. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Yeah. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, single collar tie now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Nice counter jab up top by Costa. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Moving to the 
finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent. When is and he's out. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Costa. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots to the top. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjusted the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission though. He never rushes, he takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Well, you're gonna have to be pretty perfect to get this guy off the throne. There he is, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion complete performance here tonight, and it ends with a win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds in the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and still...